What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is John. I'm an expat that's been living here in China for over 13 years. And today I'm going to be taking y'all to a gym here near my house. And we're going to talk about the cost of gym memberships and uh, the cost of like fitness supplements and the cost of food that you need in order to stay fit and healthy when living here in China. Now, I myself, I'm on holiday right now, so I've actually been traveling around to different countries and different places and so, so staying in hotels. So I've been a little bit inconsistent in my fitness journey as of the past month because I haven't had access to like proper gyms and, and food and stuff like that. So I've been eating out a lot and staying in hotels and stuff. But anyway, that's besides the point. I'm at home right now and uh, we're going to go have a look. So let's go. Come with me. All right, so here we are in the kitchen. Before we go to the gym, I'm going to make a little protein shake. And uh, it's, it's actually 7.30 in the morning here. I just woke up and took a shower. So uh, I haven't ate, eaten anything yet or nothing like that. But I don't like to do my workouts uh, fasted because I'm already, well, I'm usually pretty lean. And also, uh, I just don't have much strength and energy if I try to do a workout fasted because I am pretty strong. So I like to have a little bit of something in my stomach when I go to the gym to exercise. So um, I'll have a, a drink, like a protein shake first, and then I'll chill for like maybe 45 minutes and then head off to the gym. All right. So while I'm having my, my pre-workout shake, we'll talk about some of these supplements real quick and what you can expect to pay for things if you're into those kind of things here in China. So when it comes to protein powders, for example, like this, a five pound bucket, if you're buying a foreign brand like American or European brand, you can expect to pay anywhere from about $45 to $110, depending on, on the brand. For the domestic brands, if you're buying a locally made Chinese protein powder, it's going to be much cheaper. You can expect to pay about $20 to $40, but those, the quality aren't as good as the imported versions. So you have that. Um, when it comes to other things, like you have some super food powder, some greens food powder. This is made in America. Very expensive. Half a pound is like 50 bucks. So it can get very expensive for this kind of stuff. Uh, some like specialty stuff, uh, like vegan protein powder, stuff like that too. Very expensive. Uh, when it comes to creatine, another thing that everybody will probably be using if you're going to the gym, very inexpensive. I think I pay like 20 bucks for this. And this is a, uh, two pounds, so it's enough to last four or five months for $20. Creatine, very inexpensive. If you buy like a smaller bottle, like a one month supply, it'll cost you like seven or eight bucks. And now um, when it comes to regular supplements, like your daily multivitamins, fish oil, things like that, also pretty inexpensive, even for imported ones, you can expect to pay about seven to $15 range, depending on what you buy and what brand you buy. And then uh, the domestic ones are also around the same price, actually. So it's not really a big difference there. And if you're talking about other things like your pre-workouts and your uh, BCAA powder, those things will cost you about $10 to $20 as well. Uh, there's a couple that are a little bit more expensive, but not a lot. So in general, uh, most things are relatively inexpensive other than the protein powders. Those are quite expensive. All right, so let's talk about your... Uh, your water and your milk really fast. Um, I'm not gonna talk about other drinks because I don't drink them because uh, they're not really gonna help on your fitness journey. So I don't like Coca Cola stuff like that. Man, I don't drink that. I don't drink that stuff. Uh, so uh, alcohol. Yeah, I try to refrain from alcohol too, even though I do drink it every now and then. Uh, so anyway, milk right here. Milk usually comes in like these little boxes like this. You get like one big box and it's got 12 or 16 of these little boxes in there. So this box, this is 250 ml, if you can see that. So uh, two of these is like a pint. It's like 16 in a box. So uh, anyway, one box is roughly about a gallon of milk and it costs you like $20. So 20 US dollars for about a gallon of milk, quite expensive, but it is what it is. Uh, when it comes to water, water is very cheap. Uh, this water is actually one of the, the common brands here that's really good, actually. I mean, it's a good brand, a well-known brand. This is two liters, so basically a half a gallon of water. And <laughs> this cost me about, uh, what, about 50 cents for a half a gallon. 
So, uh, yeah, so water, very cheap. So that's really all you need. You need some milk, some water, stay away from the sugary drinks, your supplements. So uh, I basically covered everything when it comes to the food items that you need in order to stay fit and healthy and what you can expect to pay for those. So let's talk about food real fast. When it comes to going to the supermarket, um, food is actually really cheap. So if you're buying stuff like, uh, you know, like I cook at home. So you're buying like vegetables, say broccoli and carrots and potatoes. All that stuff, very, very, very cheap. I mean, you can buy like a pound of broccoli for like 25 cents. It's extremely cheap to buy fresh organic vegetables here no matter what they are uh, your broccoli your spinach your kale your uh potatoes all this stuff very 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 cheap uh when it comes to meat also very cheap depending on what you buy if you're buying domestic products so you're buying domestic beef and chicken and all this stuff is very cheap i usually buy chicken by like the kilogram and it costs me about uh say 10 what's it about a dollar fifty for a kilo of chicken so two pounds of chicken is like a dollar fifty so you can buy a lot of chicken for very very cheap which is typically what people will be eating to do fitness chicken and fish fish is also very cheap i live right by the sea seafood is very cheap um, i can't tell the exact price of seafood because i don't eat it because i'm allergic to it but i know it is very cheap um like your shrimp and lobster crab fish uh very cheap except for salmon salmon and tuna are a little bit more expensive, but all the other fish is very cheap. Uh, salmon and tuna are expensive. Um, then, actually I have a can here, here. It's a can of tuna. Uh, it's like, this is like a dollar fifty or something like that, two dollars. Actually this was, yeah, this was a dollar fifty. But anyway, um, beef, very cheap also, um, pay about, five dollars for a pound of beef uh, no matter what cut it is they basically they just have these big slabs of beef and they don't really still like miss beef here like if you want to make like hamburgers or something they don't really have ground beef here you just like buy a big slab of beef and hand it to the butcher and tell him you want you want to miss and then he'll do that for you but um this doesn't cost any extra money to do that but they usually have the beef usually most of the time it's about anywhere from five to seven dollars a pound um, pork is more expensive. See, other than that, yeah, that's about all I can tell you for buying food from the supermarket. Now, if you want to go out to eat, that's a different story. Uh, local Chinese food is actually very cheap as well, but it's not the best food for your overall health and fitness journey because Chinese prepare things like with a lot of oil. And so they put other things in there too, like some MSGs and seasonings and stuff, and it can get, uh, you know, it's not going to be conducive to your fitness goals, but it's very cheap. Like you can go and get street food for like a dollar. But if you want like sit down in a restaurant and have a meal, then you're going to pay anywhere from about $4 to $20, depending on the, what type of restaurant you go to. Um, you can go get like, so like a, a, some noodles and some, with some meat or something like that for like $2. Um, comes to Western food, eating out, it's going to be a lot more expensive. Even like McDonald's, you're going to pay like, uh, about at least six or $7 minimum. If you go somewhere like Burger King, you're going to pay 15 or $20. Uh, so you have that too. So anyway, I'm about, I finished my shake. So we're going to head out to the gym. I'll take you over there and show y'all what's going on at the gym. Man, it's hot out here today. Anyway, here we go, man. Here at the car. We're gonna, uh, gonna go over to the gym. Check it out. So here we are. We're on the road to the gym. It's just a couple minutes away from my house, actually. So uh, anyway, you can see the road here. There's nothing, nothing special to look at. Just some palm trees. <laughs> That's about it. But we're almost there, actually. We're about to touch down here in just a minute. See, uh, we have these hall houses right here. Some houses over there. It's kind of cloudy, but man, it's really hot today. You can look over here. The gym is actually right over here. We're going right over there by those trees right there. Just on the other side. So here we are. We're almost there. You can see, uh, uh -huh, I'll show you, man. Uh, here we go. See right here? 
the gym's right over there. We're gonna go in that door here in just a minute. So let me find a place to park the car real quick, and then we'll go over there. All right, so here we are. It's noisy. There's a school here for uh, music. Anyway, you see the, the door is locked, but uh, they actually give me the password so I can unlock it and go in. So I'm going to go in here where it's not so noisy. <laughs> All right, man, I got away from that noise. They go over there playing. Uh, anyway, we're here at the gym. Uh, this gym isn't, it's not like the best gym. It's kind of crappy, actually. But I'll show y'all around. Let me get the lights on. So uh, in here, so they have this little room here to do some, I don't know what they do here. They, they had the playoff boxes, but they have these uh, little things for stretching and stuff like that. Massage table. Anyway, over here, let's have like a little area to chill. He's got some stuff, and stuff there. I got some, some protein up there too. And some stuff for the guests. Back there is the bathrooms and the toilet and stuff. And they even have a little kitchen to make your own drinks and protein shakes and stuff right there. Anyway, over here, as you can see the gym, like I said, it's not much. They have the power rack, some dumbbells, Smith machine, a couple of benches here. You get the bench press. We have this multi-purpose machine where you do cable crossovers and all that. There's a leg press, some ab, ab machine, more legs, arms, chest, shoulders, uh, back, and then like abductor, hips. Treadmills, that's basically it. That's all there is to it. Uh, so this gym right here, um, let me sit down for a minute. Let me go over here and chill. So as you can see, it's not very much here. It's not like a nice gym, but it's really cheap. I paid about $120 for a one-year membership, and I know the owner, so he gave me the key. I can come anytime I want, 24-7, around the clock. I just come and lock the door. So, uh yeah so it's not a bad deal now i have some other gym memberships and some other gyms but they're actually quite far away which i only use them sometimes uh, but the gym over there is much nicer this one's kind of crappy really but it's just super close to home it's so convenient i would rather just come here just because I can, I can walk here in like five minutes if i want it's just so hot outside so i decided to drive today but uh, uh, most gyms you can expect to pay anywhere from about $300 to $500 per year, depending on what gym you go to and what city you go to. And, and every now and then you can come across gyms like this that are much cheaper. Um, I got another one that I paid $100 for for a whole year. It's by my other house. Uh, this one's 100, about $120 for a year. So, uh, you know, you can get a decent gym for 150 bucks a year. If you want a really nice gym, then you're going to pay about $300 per year for that. So anyway, I'm going to get my workout on. I got some, uh, some work to do today, chest and back. So I'm going to get to it. All right. I'm back from the gym. Just finished the chest and back workout. I hope I cleared up any questions y'all had about the cost of fitness in China. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.